Okay, in this last video, I'm going to look at perimeter and area. Okay, so these are tricky ones for sure. Um, and I did that on purpose. Um, so let's just jump in. Perimeter, uh, I'm going to make sure I have uh, lengths for all the sides. So I have yes, yes, yes. I need this one. Got that one. I only need one here. Well, to find that's a horizontal length, I'm going to look at all the horizontal lengths. The whole thing is 9. This is 4. This is 3. So together, 4 plus 3 plus this have to equal 9. Well, 4 plus 3 is 7. What's left is 2. So this is 2. Now the perimeter is just adding everything up. I'm going to start right here. You don't have to. But I'm going to start at 5. So 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9. Add that all up. You get 9. 11, 13, 16, 19, 25, 34. 34 centimeters is the perimeter. Okay. The area kind of have to break up. So I'm going to break it up like this. Do you have to break it up like this? No. But I'm going to find the area of this box, this box, and this box, and add them up. Right away, I see this is a 4 by 2, so the area here is 8. I see this is a 3 by 3, so the area is 9. This one's the one we have to think about a little bit. Because I have this as 9, but I don't have this length here. If this is 3, that means this is 3, because the whole thing is 6. So 9 times 3, 27. Now I'm just going to add those up. 8 plus 9 is 17, plus 27 is 44 centimeters squared. There's my area. Okay. Number 40. Okay. Um, perimeter. Missing this side down here. And I think that's it. Yeah. So this one's a little tricky because I don't have a side that's the whole horizontal distance. But I do know that from the far left to the far right is 2 plus 5. So it's 7 total. This is 1, so what's left? This has got to be 6. Okay. Oh, and I also am missing this side up here. So the vertical distance is 3 plus 2, so 5. This is 3, so this has to be 2. So the perimeter is just, and I'm going to start right here. 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3. So 4, 9, 12, 18, 20, 21, 24. 24 meters is the perimeter. The area, again, kind of tricky. I'm going to break it right here and right here. So this is a 3 by 1 box. That's 3. This is a 5 by 3 box. This is 15. That's Those two are pretty easy. This box right here. Well, if this is 2 and this is 1, this has to be 1. And if this is 3 and this is 2, then that has to be 1. So that's a 1 by 1 box. The area is 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 15 is 19 meters squared. Okay. 41, perimeter. This white box in here has nothing to do with the perimeter. So we're going to ignore that for right now. I just need to find this side and this side. So. Horizontal distance is 12. This is 2, so what's left is 10. Vertical distance is 4 plus 3, so 7. So this is 7. I'm going to start right here. Again, that's random. You can start anywhere. Just starting here, I'm going to go clock or counterclockwise. So 4 plus 10 plus 3 plus 12 plus 7 plus 2. So 14, 17. 29, 36, 38. 38 feet is my perimeter. Okay. The area, now that's where that comes in. So I'm going to find the area of this whole region, but then I'm going to subtract the area of this. So the area is going to be whole minus white part. So the whole thing, I'm going to cut right here. That's a 2 by 4, that's 8. And down here is a 3 by 12, that's 36. So the whole thing is 44. 
36 plus 8, 44. But then I have to subtract the area of the white box, because that's not shaded. 3 times 2 is 6. So 44 minus 6 is 38 feet squared. Perimeter and area, in this case, were the same. Last one. Um, we got to find the missing sides again. So 6, 12, this one's also going to be 6. That's 10, so this is 10. These are tricky. Um, you don't really know exactly what they are. You don't know that this is right in the middle. We're going to assume that it is, but we have to know that the whole thing's 12, this is 5, so these two things have to add up to 7. We know that. So we're going to cut it in half and just say 3.5. So the perimeter, we'll start here, 6 plus 3.5 plus 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 3.5 plus 6 plus 12. So 6, I know these two add up to 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. 23, 33, 38, 44, 56. Fifty-six centimeters is the perimeter. Area, um, I'm going to cut it right here. Six by twelve is seventy-two. Five by ten is fifty. Add those up, you get one hundred and twenty-two centimeters squared is your area. Okay, so that's perimeter area. That's what you're going to have to do on your test. Okay, the last one here. You can watch the video on constructions of segments, angles, uh, perpendicular bisectors, and angle bisectors. Um, it's no different. I want, what I do on the notes, the original notes, is no different than what I would do here. So if you want that, rewatch that video.